What we want to do today is to take a look at one of the latest questions in IELTS Writing Task 2 to see what structure is used in order for you to learn it and get the same score. As you might know, IELTS Writing is one of the skills that many candidates struggle with. The thing is that you try all the time and you get a 6 in the end and you always wonder why. But is it impossible to get a higher score in this skill? The answer is no. One thing that many candidates are not aware of is that as there are different question types in task 1 and task 2 of IELTS writing, you should follow a different paragraph structure in each, which is the key to success. What we want to do today is to take a look at one in task 2 and analyze this structure on a very good sample answer. But first, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to boost your score in IELTS writing, you can visit our website and use our writing course. You can simply go to www.rossiels.com. Now, if you're ready, we can get started. So here's the question statement. Car ownership has increased so rapidly over the past 30 years that many cities in the world are now one big traffic jam. As you see, this is the question statement, and what we should do is to read it very carefully and highlight the keyboards. Now, the next part would be the question that we are asked about the same question statement, which says, How true do you think this statement is? What measures can governments take to discourage people from using their cars? Here we have two questions about the given question statement. By reading them, we can realize that the question type we are dealing with here is a double question. And here is the paragraph structure we should follow. First we have the introduction paragraph, then body paragraph 1, body paragraph 2, and finally the conclusion paragraph. Now let's write our essay based on this structure. Here we go with the introduction paragraph. Most people would agree that the ownership of cars has raised so much in the last 30 years that is causing a range of traffic problems. I think this is a major issue and there are a number of ways that governments can aim to deal with it. For example, improving the public transport in cities in order to encourage people to use their own cars less. In the very first sentence of the paragraph, we have paraphrased the question statement using some direct synonyms. Then in the next sentences, we have given the answer to the two questions that we were asked here. But the point is that we have not mentioned the details of our answer here because then in the next paragraphs, we can zoom in on each of that as we have the body paragraphs, body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2. But the thing is that you should at least mention two here, like the answer to the first question and the answer to the second question, because we want to dedicate one separate paragraph to each answer to each of these questions. So now, let's write the first body paragraph. Many big cities in the world have traffic problems, but these problems vary. This is to say that, depending on the city we are talking about, people might be dealing with traffic issues, which means that some people might have fewer problems with the rush hour or traffic jam, as they live in a less crowded area. For example, it is reasonably easy to drive around my city after 10 a.m. and before 5 p.m. However, Outside these hours, you have to allow double the usual time to reach your destination. In some other cities, traffic is congested at all times, and there is the continual sound of car horns as people try to get wherever they want to go. Here in the first body paragraph, we have zoomed in on the answer to the first question, mentioning how true we think it is. So. In the very first sentence of the paragraph, which is the topic sentence, we have clearly mentioned it. And then in the next sentences, we have provided explanation and finally an example by using some expressions to show each of that. Now let's write the second body paragraph. One of the best approaches governments can take in busy cities is to encourage the use of public transport. 
This means that transport facilities have to be well run and people must be able to afford them. Buses, trams and trains are good ways of getting around and if they are cheap and reliable, people will use them. Another approach is to discourage people from actually entering the city by building car parks and shopping centers on the outskirts. For example, based on a research which was realized in 2021 in Toronto University, the governments that have run campaigns to encourage people to be less dependent on their cars have been more successful in encouraging passengers to use the public transport rather than private cars, even for the longer car trips. Here in the second body paragraph, we have zoomed in on the answer to the second question, mentioning the measures the governments can take to discourage people from using their private cars. So, in the first sentence, which is the topic sentence, we have clearly mentioned it. And then in the next sentences, just like the previous paragraph, we have given some explanation and finally an example using some expressions. And finally, let's write the conclusion paragraph. In conclusion, we all have a responsibility to look after our cities. Governments can do a lot to improve the situation, and part of what they do should involve encouraging individuals to consider alternatives to driving. So, in the conclusion paragraph, we have concluded all the mentioned details throughout the essay, paraphrasing what we had already mentioned in the introduction paragraph. Very well, guys. In this video, we took a look at a writing in the second task of IELTS exam and we learned together how we should apply some strategies and the correct paragraph structure to get our desired result. You can also write your own writings, send it to our examiners and get a comprehensive feedback on it, plus your score in each criteria. You can take a look at the link we have put in the video description. Stay tuned for the next videos and see you very soon. In this course, you will have a series of educational videos in which you will learn each and every tip you will need in specific details for both general and academic modules. Next question type is double question or Attached to each video, you will have the PDF files for each question type, including the paragraph structure, the expressions and the techniques you can apply, which have all been taught in the videos. To make sure that you learn everything properly, in each video we will write an essay, a letter or a report by using the tips that you have learned. Moreover, something to help you in this section is the different question samples we have put for you to write your own writing about. This isn't everything. We strongly recommend you to use our writing correction services as well so that our examiner can give you a written and video feedback and make sure you're ready for the real test. Join us to become our next successful candidate.